Hey there, this is Akshay Madan and welcome back to the second part of complete Instagram UI tutorial on Flutter Flow by just dragging and dropping. So that's the beauty of this Flutter Flow and we are going to complete this uh, tutorial in uh, two, three more videos. And now in this video, we are going to build the home page. We are going to complete this home page, right? So you will get a good idea of how to work with this Flutter Flow. And yes, so let's work now without wasting more time. If you are new on this channel, you can like my videos and uh, subscribe to my channel, right? So let's do it. So for the post, we have to add a container. So, but before the container, we have to add a list view, right? So first of all, I will add a container inside that container. I will add a list view. So just come on this UI builder, search for a container and just add it over here. Yes. So it is taking very small width. So for the width, I want to make it use hundred percent of the width. And for the height, it should be using the complete available height. So for that, I have to make it expanded. So how to do that? So you have to click on this alignment, right? In this alignment, you can see, come on this alignment, make it expanded. Click on it and you can see that it is taking the complete available height uh, that is there with us. So now in this container, we have to add a list view. So search for a list view. And to this list view, just add it inside this container. So the axis of this uh, list view will be vertical only. So let it be axis will be vertical. <clears throat> Perfect. Now inside this list, we have to add containers, right? So these containers will be nothing but the post. So for that, I have to uh, search for container again and just add it inside this list. And my container will not be only this much it will be of height so let's make the height as uh, 150 not this much uh, height will be 100 percent so let's make the height as 100 and its height sorry bit and its height will be 300 it's even less 350 looks good and yes so yes height is done now we have to add a padding to it so padding will be 10 from all the sides. Looks good. Now I think the height should increase. It should not be 350, it should be 380. Amazing. Now this is the post. Now for better understanding, I should change the color of this. Uh, let's make the backward, let's make the back container color as white only. So come on this widget tree and this widget tree, this is the container. Yes, let's make this fill color as complete white. Now I can see my container and for better understanding, let's change this color from, uh, let's take it red. Uh, red will be not uh, good for understanding. So I will make it a little gray so that you can see that this is my post and I have to work on this post, right? So let's see the photo of Instagram, original tutorial, original UI. And I can see that first of all, we should have uh, this uh, circle avatar of the person who has posted, then it's a username and then it should be, no, okay, this one is for profile and then should it should have a menu icon. So, okay, let's close it. So first of all, we have to add a column inside this container. So I will come in the UI builder. I will search for the column, drag and drop it inside it. Now inside this column, I can add three containers, right? First container is for that circle avatar, then username, then menu. Second container is for the original photo and third container is for the like, comment and share button. So I have to search for container, add it, then one more container, add it, add one more container. And the widget tree, I can see that so many widgets are there. So I don't want to see so many widgets. I only want to see this post widget. So the rest of the widgets, I will close them down. So just close them. Yes, this is the working widget. Let's close this one also. Amazing. Let's close now. Yeah, perfect. Now I can see that only these are the things that I have to work upon. So first of all, this container will take the complete width. So it will be having 100% width. And its height will be just 40. Uh, 40 is a little less. Let's make it 60. Yes. And this last container will also be having the width of 100%. Uh, so let's come on this percentage. Click 100. Yes. And it will be 
uh, fight uh, 50 again. Yes, 50 is, I think, perfect. This one is of 60 and this one is of 50. Yeah, perfect. And this container will be of uh, width 100%. So let's make 100% and its height will not be this much. It will be expanded. So let's come on this alignment. Click on this expanded. Yes. So for the better understanding, let me uh, make this color as little red then this container as little blue and this container as a little purple so now i have to work on these three containers right so first of all in this i have to add a row right because for the row i have to add the items in horizontal direction so i will search for a row add it inside this container now inside this row i have to add three containers small small three containers right so add the first container inside this row then the second container and third one will not be a container it will be of it will be an icon button yes and this icon will be menu so select menu from this and not this one i want it three dots so dots will we get no so how to search for that Mm. let's for now let's add that menu only yes this one i got let's see its name it's icons more word okay icon vertical i think okay we have added it now i have to make its alignment so come on this alignment and it will be horizontally in this direction so just a second vertically it is at the center but Okay, we will make this container as uh, expanded. So let's come on this alignment. Let's make this container as the uh, expanded. And this one will be holding the uh, avatar. So this will be, this should be square size. So height and width, I will keep it 50. Height will be 50. Yes, perfectly fine. I think we should make it 60, 60. So let's make it 60 and 60 and we can add a padding of from all the sides as two now it's look good right now i have to add a circle image inside this container so i will search for circle just add it inside this small container and now we have to add the person image so i will just come on this container i will copy this path and i will come on this and i will paste it over here perfect amazing nice and in this container i have to add a text that will be the username of the user so just search for text and paste it inside this container and it's uh, we have to set its horizontal and vertical alignment so come on this alignment and it will be vertically aligned yes horizontally it will be over here yes nice we can change its font so let's keep the font as montserrat we have it yes we have montserrat yeah uh, yes and we can make its font weight as extra bold not the extra bold it is uh, i think bold is enough i think montserrat is not looking good so from the montserrat we can choose roboto let's take it yes this looks good and we have to change its text uh, text and let's uh, take my name only oh, but she's a girl uh, okay let's take another name name of my sister it is wrong spelling nice and user names are currently are uh, and and usernames are not the simple text they are having this underscore so let's add such underscore also yeah i think text size is a little small i think i should make it 16 looks good and uh, now let's change their colors it's looking a little boring and we can do one more thing i will show you come on this widget tree first of all these containers uh, let's add a image so nature i can search 
I can uh, go on this images, select this image, copy the image address, and we can give this. Uh, we have to give it an image first. So come on this UI builder, search for the image, put this image inside this container, and we can add the path. Amazing. It will be boxfit.cover. Amazing. Yes. Now we can change their colors because we have added almost everything. And I will also give it a good border radius so that it looks more good and little different from Instagram, original Instagram. So come on this widget tree and we can just select our containers and we can again change their colors to white. And we can select this one, this container, we can do it from widget tree itself and we can make their colors as again white. This one, its color is okay. This one, yes. This one will be fill color is white. And circle image, this container, this color is again white. This container can choose it, choose a white color. It's look, it looks good now. Yes, looking fine. But this container is again having pop, a uh, little grayish color. Make it white. Now what we can do is to the main container, we can add a little border radius. So we are having the main container over here. Yes. Uh, note this one. Uh, we have to select this container. Yes. And to this container, we can add a border radius. So for the border radius, you can see the properties of this container. We have this border radius. Lock this container and we have to add border radius of 10 from all these sides and it is now a little rounded so check that out we can uh, give it a different color so let's change its fill color to red okay we have added a few things on it so that that's why we are not able to see it so what we can do let's not add it only let's leave it and yes i think this much is enough and i can see that uh, due to that complete white code, uh, complete white color, we are not able to distinguish uh, where, from where the post is starting and from where the from where post is ending. So to simplify this, first of all, let me add the like, comment, and share button, and I will uh, find a solution of this problem also. So in this container, that is the last one, we have to again add a row, right? So search for a row, put it over here, and in this row, we have to first of all add the icon button and first icon button will be hard come over here not this one let's search for favorites yes this one looks good you can add a like button just copy it just paste it just paste it again this one will be not the heart icon it will be message icon this one, I think everything is getting black, black. Let's choose the border icon and let's make it also bordered. And this icon will be a uh, share, not this, this can add, but it's looking very messy. We can add this direct message button if we found it so let's search if we have this direct mm. arrow mm. we have something a kind of this send yes we found it we can add this icon yeah it will be better if we get round only the no we don't have that that one it's okay what we can do is we can add into this row just come on this widget tree select this row and we can make its main axis alignment uh, as start only it's correct cross axis alignment is also center perfect it's amazing right and now we have to now we have one problem in front of us that the post is not getting uh, differentiated from the background, right? So what we can do is 
to the main container that is this one inside it we are going to add uh, many many of the posts so to this container you can just change the color from white to a little grayish right and just click on this use selected color now you will be able to see a uh, we lost uh, Yes, now you will be able to see that post is white and the background is gray. Now still we are having uh, not having the good UI. So what I will do of this container that is this post container, this one, I will remove the padding from all the sides, but I will just keep it from the bottom so that uh, different post uh, should get differentiated. So I will make it zero, make it zero, zero, and yes, only the bottom part will be having the padding now i can just add just copy paste these containers and we will be done with the home page ui of instagram so just click on this container yes we have to copy these containers so just uh, don't show these containers click right click on it and duplicate and once again we have to uh, do a duplicate so just right click duplicate Let's do it one more time. Now let's see a preview and then we will change their images and we will be done with this video. And we will see the other UI pages in the next uh, video of this playlist. Right, so now I can see that very beautifully I am able to scroll uh, through the uh, post and I can see that, uh, yes, it's amazing, right? It's amazing. And I can also scroll through the stories of people. Now I think that this much is enough for this video. So till the next content, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.